Good morning everyone, uh, this is Diviendo and I'm from India so I'll be presenting on the site of Hatnora um, located in central India. Uh, this is the beautiful site, it's located on the river. Um, it's located in central India um, and it's uh, on the banks of the river Narmada um, in the central part of Narmada that is and there are actually a lot of sites uh, close by together uh, it's a cluster of uh, sites and as you can see Hatnora is this one but there's also Nitan Kheri and Suraj Kund quite close by uh, uh, sort of the, in the literature as well um, some of the fossil finds found in uh, these nearby sites are also attributed to the site of Hatnora so I'll be talking about more or less these three sites combined so let's talk about the paleocology um, there's a paper published uh, which examined the dental remains of uh, domesticated cattle uh, in the modern times the Bos indicus um, and it analyzed its carbon um, signatures and that turned out to be C3 type but uh, it compared that with the isotopes uh, finds on the um, fossils of Bos nomadicus which was the uh, cattle present in the Pleistocene times um, and that turned out to be a C4 signature which indicates that uh, uh, the ecology present here was open grassland um, during that time which has changed from now so with regards to site formation um, uh, so there were there are three main uh, levels at which hominin finds have been found here uh, so at the, at the level of u1 there's the famous and the first ever find in this area that is the hominin skull cap uh, and it's called the u1 level and at the uh, second level uh, we find the uh, hominin femora and the clavicles uh, located on the u2 levels and in the u3 levels we see um, some acheulean tools and um, yeah other other uh, such finds talk about the findings um, number of hominin fossils have been found here most uh, famous one is the first uh, first one that was excavated here in 1982 uh, which was the um, skull cap and this seems to have a mosaic of features uh, some of them similar to a homo erectus some of them similar to a sapien and yet others that are not uh, similar to any other hominin uh, so far um, as well as uh, some affinities to European hominins, uh, including Neanderthals, um, they have been attributed to Homo heidelbergensis and have also been called by some authors uh, an archaic species of Homo sapiens. Um, so there really isn't much uh, uh, consensus on what it could have been. Um, there are also clavicles found at the site as well as uh, um, some humerus, um, some femora um, found at Hatnora as well as uh, the neighboring ninja Nathan Kerry and um, Suraj Kun. Um, in so next slide. In addition, there are also, uh, as I said, some artifact remains that, uh, you know, this was just something we collected from sort of an emergency archaeological excavation. Uh, um, there was this um, fossil of a large prehistoric elephant that was being excavated for quite some time there, uh, for a few months. And, uh, and also, this was the... Uh, a piece of the femur of either a rhinoceros or a hippopotamus that was found on the very day that I visited and by some villagers nearby and uh, it was not sure what the what it was so there was no much information because it hasn't been published either there are several other uh, finds uh, as well of other animals thank you